Hey peeps, it's Nox, and today we're here with a Craftably unboxing. But before we get into that, I do want to cover a couple of things. Uh, first things first, I do have neuropathy in my hands. It does make me make weird stretchy motions sometimes. It's just me getting the pain, swelling, kinks out of it. I am uh, not signaling for help. Please don't send rescue. Secondly, I do have several people who live in my household. They may, you know, forget I'm filming, knock on the door. You'll get a chance to say hi to somebody new. So, um... That's all that's going to be about. And thirdly, and most importantly, my channel supports LGBTQIA+, Black Lives Matter, neurodiversity, body positivity, uh, freedom of religion, including the freedom to have no religion, diversity, and inclusiveness in general. If this is something that bothers you, I'm going to have to ask you to not like, not comment, and not subscribe. Just go find a different channel. For those of you stuck around, welcome to Punks and Crafts. So this is my pre-order from Craftably. Technically I have two separate orders. I ended up getting a third canvas. There's two in here and I've ordered a third canvas for my mother on a separate order. That one hasn't arrived yet. I didn't expect it to. Honestly, I didn't expect any of them to arrive yet. Uh, apparently I ended up in the expedited portion of this. Excuse me while I... This, this box is huge so I'm gonna slice it open over here. It's not a good way to do this in camera. Um, and I think it's really exciting that mine already came in. I was really not expecting it, like I said. I'm not going to turn it down, though. Okay, I have to take this box off the table. There's no way I'm going to be able to get into it. I am not tall enough for this. All right, so I got a nice little handwritten note. It says... Dear valued Craftably customer, thank you so much for your awesome order. We really appreciate your business. We hope you enjoy working on your gorgeous diamond paintings. We look forward to helping you again in the future. Always remember to keep calm and Craftably on. Craftably yours, Rebecca, a.k.a. Craftably Gigi. So that is pretty cool. It has my... Uh, um, packing slip, inventory sheet, whatever you want to call it on the back. All right, so let's get through all the packaging here. <laughs> so, they come, these pre-orders, in these plastic artist tubes. And you get one artist tube per canvas, which is why that thing's so freaking heavy. So that is really cool. When I first bought it, I thought I would just get one artist tube and then I read later that you get one for each. So let's start with this, the big one here. All right, sorry for all the crinkling. I can't really help it. It is very crinkly plastic that's on here. Tried to be quick. So it's nice hard plastic comes with a strap that you can carry it um does not appear to be detachable that's fine i wouldn't want to detach it anyways and this one is hide and seek by sarah barrer i apologize if i mispronounced that let's pop into this so in order to get into it you should just I don't know if it's pull off or screw off. It's screw off, okay. I prefer the screw off ones. They're less likely to just randomly come out. So a nice little burlap bag there. I don't know if it's actually burlap, but it looks like burlap. And our canvas and sheet. Oop! <laughs> the box just fell over, don't mind me. Is everything, that is not everything. That's in there. Okay, now that's everything. So if you've never had an artist tube, these are adjustable. So you should be able to turn it a little, slide it in, lock it into place wherever you want. So I think it goes bigger, but I'd have to adjust the thing. <laughs> so you get the idea though. So this is just a how to diamond paint instruction sheet. Um, 
and including some information about new washi tape and new cover binder. So as you may notice, your kit comes with some washi tape. Washi tape is great for taping off borders that might be sticky or sectioning off areas of canvas to work in small squares. And uh, we now include a random themed magnet to secure your plastic cover chart. So pretty cool. The back just tells you what your new kit comes with. So you get the art tube, soft back canvas, it's poured glue, max luster diamond drills, um, ABs and rhinestones it says ABs aren't available for red dragon queen. They only allowed green at the time. It looked terrible. Rhinestones are rounds only for now. Uh, random cover minder, basic glitter pin, burlap, I was right, burlap accessory sack, thin multi-placer tips, extra thick chart cover, a tree planted for each order. I like that. Pre-bag drills, up to 80 colors, true to size images, licensed artwork, random washi tape, sharp tweezers, jar of wax, Maswa spout tray, peelable color labels, logbook sticker, and foam pen grip. All right, so actually let's get in the bag first. So this is actually a very sturdy little bag, definitely reusable. Oh, I get a couple washi tapes. Oh yeah, probably one for each. So I got orange polka dots and uh, some plaid flowers. I love plaid stuff, so that's really cool. So thank you, Craftily, for the My Nifty Washi Tape. We've got these little things of wax come in a little plastic container and some pink wax. I haven't used their pink wax before, so I don't know if it's good. I hear it's good though. So I got two of those. And this looks like my cover minder. Came in this thing. It popped open a little, but it didn't escape. So looks like a little macaroon or pastry of some sort. It's really cute. Metal backing. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to put that back in here for a moment so I can put it up with my others. And then it came with this toolkit, which has the glitter pen and a thin four placer. If I can get them out, <laughs> they kind of wedged under the zipper part. Sharp metal tweezers with the cap. Um, we've got a boat and some more wax and a purple squishy and some more thin multi-placers. We got a seven and another four in there. So that's cool. All right. So we've got the logbook sticker they were talking about. So this one is hide and seek. As I said, it's a 24 inch by 32 inch round. I thought it was adorable. We have this really big sticker sheet. So these do peel off if I can get a corner there so you can see they they are stickers you can use as labels on your containers nice big lettering numbering whatever you want to call it the symbols are nice and big and easy to see so that's pretty cool all right so let's get into the actual canvas sorry if I'm a little lackluster today guys I'm having another pain flare but I wanted to get into these because I was excited. All right, so they're wrapped in this tape. If I can find the end. All right, this might be a struggle, guys. All right, so that was a little bit of struggle. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> that tape did not want to let go, but here we have it. This is Hide and Seek. We got our cute little fairy up there. We've got little, uh, if I remember correctly, we've got little bugs hanging around, cute mushrooms, butterflies, um, lots and lots of pretty flowers. We got another couple fairies chilling down at the bottom. You can't see this one as well. Right here. And another one right there. And a couple peeking out around her there 
I think that's why it's called hide and seek. Because <laughs> there's all these hidden fairies in there. But I thought she was adorable. I also really, really love these toadstool mushrooms. I, I don't know why, but I, I just love toadstool mushrooms. So I, I thought this looked awesome and very brightly colored. It is uh, got very clear symbols on here. The uh, canvas has got that sparkly shine to it. Let's test this sticky. I don't think there'll be a problem with that, but yeah, it's very sticky. No problems there. She's just so cute. I love these little stripey socks. And her little bare feet. I, I sympathize. I hate shoes. I, I am always bare, wearing bare... Bleh, always going barefoot if possible. Is that an upside down Y? Is that supposed to be upside down? It is. Okay. Interesting. Is there a right side up Y? Is that going to confuse me? <laughs> uh, I do not see one. So I think it's just the upside down Y. So yeah, these symbols are very, very clear. I can see everything from standing way up here just fine. So that's pretty cool. Looks like a good mix between color blocking and confetti. Even down in here, there's still some areas of color blocking. It is mostly confetti, but I expected that with all of this detail in here. This just looks like so much fun to put together. All right, let's take a look at the drills. So they did come in individual baggies. It is marked with the canvas number, which you should be able to find. Let's see. Where, oh, where is that canvas number? <laughs> okay, usually I can find it pretty easily, but I'm either blind or it's not actually on the canvas. You do have the name and the artist down in the bottom corner here. You have uh, the legends on both sides. This canvas has 57 colors in it. Is it on here? That's still the size. Huh, okay, so I'm not seeing the corresponding canvas number. It's not on the stickers either. So I'd be sure to label these if you have to move them separate from the canvas yourself, just to make sure you don't forget which canvas you're working on here. Now this looks like it's got three ABs, and I'm assuming this is a rhinestone. So that's pretty cool. It's uh, yeah, definitely rhinestone. I can see him. So these are all so nicely put in here. I'm not going to pull them all out, but let's take a look at these ABs and the rhinestone because I believe they packed them all nicely down at the end because these are in numerical order, which is nice. All right, so. Okay, because it's two bags. So we got two bags of white ABs. If you don't know what an AB is, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. You see that extra shiny coating chilling out on top there? It's, uh, it's meant to look kind of similar to the Northern Lights. It's extra reflective. It has some of its own additional color. It will also reflect off the lights of the drills right next to it. Just generally used to give your canvas a bit more pizzazz. So we got two big bags of white AB. And I am pretty sure that's all going to be like up in that sky up there. Plus probably scattered all throughout because there's white all over the place here. Let's see, what is the symbol for that one? Oh, so yeah, all in our socks, all around here, all down here. Yeah, pretty much anywhere I'm seeing white. <laughs> There is a sp uh, smattering or a heavy amount of these. And we've got this cute pastel pink in ABs. And that one says, oh, these are just labeled differently. So it's AB08, AB30. I don't know the translation for that. We've got a pale yellow, nice big bag of that too. So this camera's gonna have a lot of sparkle in here. And then our rhinestone here is this like 
deep pink rhinestone. That's pretty cool. So let's see. The pale pink AB is that little pill-shaped dude. That... Let's see these out of the way. So we can figure out where that goes. <laughs> there's just a lot of symbols in here with 57 colors. And there's a lot going on. So yeah, we got some in the fairy wings over here. And... Where else? I'm sure there's more elsewhere, but like I said, guys, there's a lot going on in this canvas, so I'm having trouble seeing all of it. But there's definitely some over here in the fairy wings. Um, the yellow is number three. So that is also in the background here on the sun behind her. Um, let's see, where else could that be? There's some in the toadstools over here, the flowers in here. So I'm pretty sure most things that have yellow will have at least a little, at least the sun touched portions. Yeah, because there's not as much in the yellow over here actually. So anything that looks like the light should have been hitting it more directly, I think we'll have the ABs in it. And then our rhinestones are a little wonky diagonal T or Y shape. I don't know what to call that. <laughs> that is over here on that fairy and this fairy, all in these leaves down here. All those stems are going to be in rhinestone. Um, and the flowers over here, the rest of that there. So there's actually quite a bit down here and up in that flower she's holding up there that will have the rhinestone. So that is super cool. This, like I said, this is going to be a very, very sparkly canvas. <laughs> I really appreciate that. So I'm going to get this put away and uh, get the next one out for you guys. So I will be back in just a moment. All right, this one is Be Brave by Sarah Burrier. It is a 28 inch by 20 inch square and is so beautiful. This is the one I was most looking forward to. I just, I saw it and it spoke so much to me, so I had to grab it. Uh, this one is 51 colors with three ABs. Again, symbol clarity is really good. Um, sometimes it's a little harder with squares because the spaces are smaller, but even again, from standing up here, I can see all these symbols real clearly. So I'm sure sitting down and diamond painting should not be a problem. All right. So we got our burlap sack for this one, which will probably have, well, it'll definitely have all the same, um, toolkit stuff, but we got two more things of washi tape and they are so cute i love this one so much i don't know why but i love this one so much Oop, sorry i went out of focus there so i got four things total of washi tape <laughs> i am loaded on washi tape a couple more of those containers of wax and Ooh. oh it goes with the diamond painting oh come on open i got a little foil seashell cover minder. Oh my god, it's so cute. And it, just, it goes so perfectly with that diamond painting. That's, that's uh, I'm so happy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna not stare at that all day long and actually show off some of these drills. So some very nice bright colors in there, as well as some more muted tones. You got a nice variety of color in here. And I hope that the, some of these are skin tone because if they are, that is a great skin tone. I am uh, was a little worried for getting red skin tone, but it doesn't look like that's gonna be the case because there's not really much red in here. I don't think there's any red in here. So I will pull out the ABs, but I want to give you guys a look at these gorgeous colors. So 
Alright, so let's open this pack because that's where the ADs are. Again, they seem to be in numerical order. Again, there is a code on the package right here, but I'm not seeing a corresponding one on the canvas. And I don't, Either it's not here or I'm very blind, which is a possibility. Sometimes I'm oblivious and don't see things. But I would still probably recommend just labeling it yourself with the name of the canvas. Or even if you don't keep a log book, you can stick this on the package so you can tell, or just stick it in the package so you can see it. All right, so our three ABs is the shiny white again. And I actually think this may be the, it's the same or very similar shade of yellow as the other one too. So that's kind of cool. That one's very pretty and sparkly. And then a pale green. I actually really love this color in AB. I'm really happy when I get it. So let's see where these go. So the whites are O's again. <laughs> so that's in here, along this, up in here, all, all in this area, all over here, up in the highlights of the hair. All these highlights in the skin are, I think these are actually decorative face art, not highlights, sorry. Um, down here in the fins, which is kind of all over the place. Um, the yellows are, let's see, where are you? All in here, I think. No, that's the wrong symbol, sorry. Ignore that statement. <laughs> okay, so they're over here too, underneath the whites. In fact, yeah, they're all... So you've got the white ABs all on the outside, and then the layer right underneath it is the yellows, it looks like. And they trail inward into the fin here, and this one here, and up in here. And then the green is number three. That's all in these leaves from the sea plants in the hair again. Over here in those plants. A little bit down here. So there's not as much green in the bag so it's not as scattered but Actually, there's a pretty good coverage of ABs throughout the entire canvas, which is pretty cool. So, and again, it comes with the big sticker sheet. And I already showed you that. So that's what I got from my pre-order. Like I said, I got one more coming in and I will put a video of that one up when it comes in. Um, but I did that on a separate order. So it it's going to come in with the mass exodus that is upcoming when Craftably starts receiving their orders. So if you haven't received yours yet and you haven't um, seen the updates, Craftably's been putting regular updates. They are waiting for their shipment at just uh, cleared customs on, um, well, I'm filming today, Friday. I may put this up uh, tomorrow. But it just cl cleared customs on Friday, June. Oof, what is the date? Alexa, what's today's date? Today's Friday, June 25th. It is June 25th. <laughs> I don't even know what day I'm on, guys. So, um, should be getting to them real soon. And then they'll pack everything up, get their stuff settled, and ship it out to you, hopefully pretty soon as well. Um, they did get a small quantity ahead of time so that they could practice running their new systems and get any bugs and stuff out on both like computer and you know packing techniques or whatever it is they needed to do to get them out uh, so they got about 10 percent of the pre-orders in ahead of time which is why some people have been able to put up videos like me um, but they should be sending out the other 90 percent here pretty soon um, keep an eye on those updates as I do not work for Craftably, so I, uh, <laughs> I 
I'm only repeating what I have read on the updates myself. So thank you for showing up and checking out the, the, the pretty diamond arts. <laughs> I love this one so much. I, I'm, I have a whole bunch of diamond paintings I got to get to before I get to this. It's going to be so hard to, <laughs> uh, to, to not switch up my order so I can work on this because it is beautiful. Anyway, I'm just going to keep rambling about how beautiful this is. So I'm going to get off the video now. <laughs> if you guys, um, would like to subscribe and haven't already please make sure you hit the subscribe button make sure you hit the bell um, as i don't post on any sort of schedule i am an agent of chaos i am fueled by the exhaustion of multiple medical conditions child rearing and um, the spinning circle that is my brain of adhd uh, so definitely hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever i post anything um, and you know if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you don't like the video go ahead and give me a thumbs down i just ask that you leave a polite comment down below let me know what it is you didn't like about the video so that possibly i can make some changes to make my content more interesting and relevant for you guys um if you just want to say hi you can also put that down in the comments <laughs> otherwise um here is where i will say see you later guys bye